Welcome back to First at Four. Tuesday, our Lincoln Mayor, Lyrian Gaylor Baird, gave her annual State of the City address, highlighting Lincoln's successes over the last year and looking at areas of growth going into the next few years. The Mayor joins me now for our monthly visit. Nice to have you here today. It's great to be here, Taryn. Yeah, busy Thank week you. for you. It's been a very busy week, an exciting week. And you have more tonight with Center Point. Yes, big gala with Center Point. Mm -hmm. Lots going on in our community. Lots of gatherings, lots of celebrations, lots of performances. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, I know you have set your expectations high, mm -hmm. saying Lincoln is poised to quote become the quality of life capital of the country. Mm -hmm. Talk yeah. about that. Well, I think Lincoln is doing really well. We are poised for what I called a new golden era where we are increasingly becoming known as the capital, the quality of life capital of the country, mm -hmm. where you can it's safe and healthy, we have a strong and resilient community, it's even more equitable and inclusive, and we're working to build an even more vibrant economy. And so we've laid out 13 priority pillars to pursue over the next four years that I'm mayor um, that are really gonna help advance us along those priority outcomes. And I'm really excited about the, the initiatives we have planned out. I know you want to make Lincoln maybe the healthiest and the mm -hmm. safest capital yeah. city in America, yeah. right? We've got some great partnerships with Centerpoint on uh, helping to respond to mental health calls mm -hmm. for service. So we compare mental health professionals with officers with a co-response to certain calls when people are experiencing a mental health crisis. Our health team is collaborating with 20 organizations to do youth substance use prevention. So we have a lot, a lot of irons in the fire. I know you've had some challenges. Um, in the last year, we had the departure of our police chief, increase in property taxes, water restrictions, uh, public safety I know is a big deal for you, and so just working to improve all of that as well. Yeah, we're making big progress on our second source of water for our community, the Water 2.0 initiative, and we were worked with our state legislative partners to secure $200 million to help buy pipes and property and to get the infrastructure laid out to go to the Missouri River to build new well fields to make sure that we have more water for these times of drought like we experienced this past summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're real pleased with our, our new acting chief, Michonne Morrow. She was an assistant chief prior to taking on the chief role. She's doing a great job and we're really excited about all of the partnerships that are just growing our community policing model and helping keep our city safe. Looking forward, yeah. ways to grow. I know um, working on those roads too. I was driving on 48th Street today, North 48th. A lot mm -hmm. of projects going on right there around Wesleyan, um, yes. um, but when it's done, it's going to be great. Yeah. Since 2019, we've invested over $200 million in our streets, both building new ones and repairing our existing ones. And in the next two years, we'll invest another almost $98 million in repairing and constructing streets because we know how important they are for people getting to and from mm -hmm. work and school and helping to facilitate you know, commerce and supporting our economy. So um, we, it's a big priority for us to yeah. make sure our streets so are in good shape. Just be patient. Yep. And you'll see those improvements. Slow down for our crews. They're working really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then downtown, continuing yeah. to see changes down there in the Haymarket. Yes. You know? We unveiled some great projects. We just kicked off a capital campaign for what will be the South Haymarket Park, uh, down just west of um, the arena, near the arena, mm -hmm. south and west of the arena. That's helping to catalyze further growth into the South Haymarket. It's going to be an amazing amenity for everyone in our community. And they'll have a dog run, an inclusive playground, an in-ground skate park, and a really wonderful interactive water feature where kids can play and splash around. So exciting yeah. changes. Okay, Mayor, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.